Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass. Now the iPhone 14 Pro was announced on the 7th of September and has been out to the general public now for around two days. And as soon as I saw the new 14 Pro and their new dynamic island, it was a really cool feature and I kind of thought about it coming to Android. Well, after only 48 hours of the new device being in people's hands, we essentially have one of the newest and best features of the new iPhone 14 Pro on Android. Well, kind of. Let me explain. Now everyone always talks about Apple stealing a lot of their ideas from Android. Like for example, the hole punch cutout that the new iPhone 14 Pro has, well we had that on Android about 5 years ago. The new always on display, maybe around 10 years ago, and don't even get me started on the new widgets that they introduced not too long ago. However, when Apple does a new feature that yes, may have been out on a previous device, Apple does it pretty well. Now while everyone's talking about Apple stealing ideas, the thing that amazes me the most is how quickly the Android community and Android developers jump on these new features and can easily bring them to Android pretty much the next day. When Apple first announced that they were doing widgets, it wasn't long before the Play Store was completely full of iOS widget applications to bring that sort of feature set and that look and design over to your Android device. So who's really stealing from who? It's a question to think about. So with the iPhone 14 Pro, they've got their new dynamic island. Now naming aside, it's a new way to get your notifications from the top of the new cutout on the 14 Pro. Now already the Android fanboys are saying that they stole that from the LG V10, but that's not necessarily the case. The V10 had a completely separate screen, it wasn't part of the main display, so again, not necessarily an apples to apples comparison. But now back to the dynamic island coming to Android, which is totally not a new feature stolen from the iPhone. It's a simple app with some simple permissions that allows you to get the look and feel of the dynamic island on pretty much any Android device. Now they can't be interacted with currently so it's mainly there for the aesthetic purposes and it's very limited in regards to what it can actually do. So once you've downloaded the application from the link in the description down below this is what it's going to look like. Now you do need to grant some permissions to give it access to a couple of things on your device, it's nothing too intrusive but then you're set and ready to go. Now you will need to adjust the dot size and also the positioning to get it directly under the camera cutout on your device. So do keep in mind that this isn't going to currently work with any devices that have that whole cutout on either the left or right of the screen, only in the centre like here on my S22+. Plus. You can then test the feature to see what it's going to look like and how it's going to look, turn it on and you're ready to go. Now in general the animations are pretty smooth and it looks kind of cool coming from the tiny cutout on the S22+. Plus. So if I plug in my device to charge for example you can see that a notification comes from the actual cutout on my display. Now I do still have the charging animation built into my Samsung device which can actually be turned off. So for the charging animation you want to head into your settings, accessibility and then visibility enhancements and then turn the animations off. Now it's not ideal because it is going to be system wide in terms of some of those sort of little animations that you may not notice day to day but once it's turned off you definitely will notice it but at least it gets rid of that big charging animation in the centre of the screen. So if I open my earbuds next you can see that it connects, we've got that same notification at the top from the new dynamic island behind the camera and again it looks pretty cool. Now we do still have the overlay from the standard notification for earbuds but again that can be turned off however it does mean turning off notifications for the Google Play services which okay it doesn't necessarily affect the day to day use of the phone but you may miss the odd update or notification if you do turn this off. So moving forward, it would be great for this widget to actually be actionable. So if you do click on it, maybe it takes you into your Bluetooth settings or it takes you into your battery percentage or whatever it may be. And just in general to have some more features. Again, if you're playing Spotify and you close Spotify, it could still have a little widget at the top of the screen, much like it does on the iPhone 14 Pro. But again, it's only been a couple of days and this is just the start. Now at the moment, it only does the charging side of things and also when you connect a Bluetooth pair of earbuds. So like I mentioned, still pretty limited at this point. Now that is of course until Samsung or Google or OnePlus implements their own dynamic island into their next phone which I do think may happen. Because although Apple maybe does copy some companies, copy some designs and some features, they are also market leaders when something changes. Anyone remember the headphone jack? And that's going to do it guys for this video. Like I mentioned, the link to the application is in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, or just want to talk about the whole Apple stealing things or the new iPhone 14 Pro features, let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, if you're not already subscribed, now is a great time to do so. And once you've hit that subscribe button, don't forget to turn on notifications so you're notified any time I post a video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, I'm going to go and look at the new iPhone to see what other features we can borrow and I'll catch you guys in the next video.